All right, Yasharala, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, Koholayim Law, Al Banawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash. Double honors to our elders and elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, and a strong shalom to the aqua sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother Amoth Yahai is from Yahawada. Amoth Yahai is from Yahawada. Coming at y'all with another beautiful lesson out here on the Shabbat on the high wind hedges to edify the hopeful elect. You so called Negroes, so called Latinos so-called uh, Native and Seminole Indians, you are the Biblical Israelites. And I've come to edify you today with this beautiful lesson. So without further ado, let me start running my mouth and let's let the Bible talk. Let's let these scriptures talk. Let's get to it. Let's let the Bible talk. Let's go to uh, <clears throat> Wisdom of Solomon. Let's get that opening precept, chapter five. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 1 and it reads this Then said the righteous man Salakia Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness Before the face of such as have afflicted him And made no account of his labors And that's right man And that's what you see the uh, the hopeful elect man The true sincere Akia man Out here doing man You know that's what you see us doing man We standing in great boldness man Whether it be rain, sleep, snow uh, uh, Just Below uh, the negative, negative one, whatever the weather may be, man, we stand in great boldness, uh, uh, confessing our Holy Father's name, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and out here telling you Edomites and you heathens, man, y'all judgment, man. We out here reading y'all, y'all rest warrant, man, you know? And everything that's happening on the earth right now, everything that's going, that's not going by this man's way, is because the true Israelites have come back to their father, man. That remnant, man, that one third remnant, man. And we, and we, and we stand in great boldness, man. To tell this man, to tell this man to his face worldwide that he's the damn devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Okay? Because every every uh, uh captivity that we had, that kingdom prospered because the Israelites was in captivity under that kingdom, man. Okay? So the reason why America's prospering because you have the Israelites in captivity, man. Point blank period, man. Alright, so let's keep on going. Let's go to 2 Timothy. Alright, this is 2 Timothy chapter 2. Verse 3, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh HaMashiach. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh HaMashiach. And that's right, man. We endure all the afflictions, everything that's brought upon us, man. Because we know at the end of the road, at the end of that tunnel, okay, it's going to be a reward, man, for everything that we've uh, 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 done, man. For us being obedient, for us... Uh, following the commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah to the best of our ability, man. Okay? And Lord willing, we, we be of that predestinated lot, man. Okay? To receive that crown on the first go around. To have that, uh, uh, that, um, that, uh, 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 that, uh, what's the word? I'm excited. What's the word I'm looking for? To have that, uh, 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 position. To have that position as one of the 144,000 governing body, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. Okay, just like it says in um, John uh, uh, chapter 15, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me, man. Okay, so when we heard the when we heard the voice of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man, it, it it breathed that life back into us, man. You know? It breathed that life back into us, man. Okay, it breathed that life back into us, man. It uh, uh it uh it made us come uh, come back as men, man. Okay, cause you got a lot of our people, man, especially y'all men out here. That's that's effeminate, that's soft, man. That let uh, a woman rule over them, man. Even though we know it's part of the curses, but still, man, when you come back to this, man, you stand as a man. Okay, you present yourself as a man. You be a man. Okay, we ain't, we ain't acting over here. Uh, the, uh, what is that dude's name? Um, the mind of the the mind of God. You Elamite, we ain't we ain't actors over here, man. The GMS brothers and the like-minded brothers, we ain't actors, man. Ain't no acting over here, man. You're the actor, man. Talking about the mind of God. How in the hell? First of all, your people, you Elamites, y'all worship cows, man. 
Y'all worship cows, man. And y'all drink cow piss, man. Y'all bathe in cow piss, man. And I'm not lying. You can go on YouTube and search that out, man. You see y'all holding, holding y'all hands under the cows uh, uh, where he urinates at and splashing y'all face with they piss and drinking it, man. Talking about it purifies your body, man. But yet, you think you think the Most High is dealing with you, man. You lost your mind, man. All right, so let's go ahead and get it, man. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 3. Because, you know, Jim Crow Joe, man, they, they, swear on, they swear in on the Bible. They swear in on the Bible. But what was the first thing he did when he um, started signing those uh, executive orders, man? What is the first thing he did, man? Let's get it, man. This is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 9, and it reads this. The show of their countenance do witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. And that's right, man. So, you know, Jim Crow Joe, Jim Crow Joe, I ain't playing with you niggas Biden, just up, uplifted the alphabet community, man. Okay, that's all he did, man. That's the first thing he did. And this, and this cabinet is an abomination, man. I mean, this place is done, man. This place is done, man. He, his cabinet is an abomination. And um, you got a damn, um, in Kentucky, somewhere in Kentucky, maybe the whole set, I'm not too sure. You can um, Google it, because it's true, that they, that they put a damn bulldog as they mayor, man. I'm not sure if it's the whole state of Kentucky or if a certain city, but they made a bulldog their mayor. Do you hear, do you hear what I just said? Kentucky just made a bulldog their mayor. Let that sink in. This place is finished, man. This place is finished, man. It's just, it's, it's just getting, it's just waxing worse and worse, man. Okay, it's just waxing worse and worse. So, you know, uh, uh, Jim Crow Joe, he, he, he went in there signing, uh, signing executive orders to, to have uh, uh, transformers to be able to do women's sports <laughs> and for women to be able to do man's sports, man. And the brother, <laughs> the, uh, the beloved uh, priest, man, out of Chicago, man, he did a lesson on that, um, on that too, man. In the, in the thumbnail, it's a um, Eve and a damn uh, transformer in the, you know, holding the Eve in a headlock with Eve, just like, just holding her in the headlock, and she's like, <laughs> man, oh my God, man. This is about to destroy y'all sports. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's go to Romans chapter one. Romans chapter one. All right, this is Romans chapter 1, starting off at verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they become fools and change the glory of, and change the, glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made, to like, made, made like to corruptible man. Salakia. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature, the creature more than more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections, for even their woman did change the natural use in, into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the nat natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in them and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was met. And even as they did not, and even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which which are not convenient, man. Okay, so Yahweh Yahweh gave these people over to do that uh that um uh uh, uh that that would that uh reprobate uh uh abomination, man. Okay, point blank period, man. And what is it what does the scripture say about you know what I'm saying you laying down with the same with the same genders? Let's go to Leviticus real quick. Let's let the let's let the Bible talk. Let's go to Leviticus real quick. Salaki, let me get to it. All right, this is Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13, and it reads this. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. 
they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And that's right, man. Okay, so when you do that, that's that's you, you being wicked, man. Okay? And, and, and you're worthy of death, man. So let's let's get something else. Let's let, the, let's let this Bible talk. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 18, I believe. So lock it. I think it's, uh, you know what, um, I think it might be 11, let me see real quick, it might be 11, if I can find it, I can find it, I'm not going to, you know, push the time to find it, let me see real quick, Cause the point, the point's basically already made. I ain't gonna press the issue on this. The point's already made, so we're just gonna keep on going, going in the spirit. The point's already basically made on that. So you know he basically signed up a whole whole bunch of abomination to his cabinet. All right, so yeah, let's keep on going. We ain't gonna uh, dwell on that. Let's let's uh, let's jump to the next thing. Let's go back to Isaiah chapter three. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 3, verses 10 to 11. See, say ye to the righteous that it shall be well. Say ye, say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. And that's right, man. Okay, so if you if you out here following the words of the Heavenly Father, doing everything righteously, not off your own mind, then you're going to eat, you're going to, uh, eat a righteous reward but if you're out here being wicked committing abominations out here being disobedient out here you know uh just doing all types of wickedness man that's gonna come back on you man what does galatians 6 and 7 say let's let's get that let's get that because everybody think just because you ain't been punished for what, what you've been done what you've been doing that you got away with it all right this is galatians chapter 6 verse 7 be not deceived the most high is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So whatever you plant is going to come back up on you. Okay? So you can't be out here doing wickedness left and right and thinking you got you got away with it. That's not how it happens, man. That's not how it happens. All right, so let's go to 1 Peter. Let's go to 1 Peter. All right, this is 1 Peter chapter 4. First Peter chapter 4, starting off at verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? If the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So as, as you just heard, the righteous is scarcely going to be saved, okay? But the ungodly is going to be uh, 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 going to receive judgment, okay? The ungodly is going to receive judgment for all their works that they've done, man. You know, from everything from this life and the past life, man. But the godly, the ones that are predestinated to be saved, are going to be uh, 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 scarcely saved, man. So you have to be, you have to go through that fire to be purified through it. Okay. Let's keep on going. Let's go to Job chapter 18. Hoping my daggone tripod don't fall again. All right, Job chapter 18. All right, this is Job chapter 18. This is a little, a little, a little thing of what's going to happen to the wicked. Job chapter 18, verse 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire, of his fire shall not shine. And that's right, man. The wicked is going to be put out, man. The wicked is going to be no more, man. And that, and that goes for you. Slocky. That goes for the, the actual wicked and the wicked two-third Israelites, man. You know? Because you got you got people 
in our nation, man, that 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 have, that have, that have overpassed the deeds of the wicked, man. Jeremiah chapter five, verses twenty six to twenty nine, man. You know, Salakia. You got our people that's wicked, and you got the actual wicked, man. And all wickedness is gonna and all wickedness is gonna be purged out of out of the earth, man. Okay, all wickedness is gonna be purged out of the earth. Okay. Because righteousness is going to flourish, man. And it's going to flourish forever, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. Righteousness is going to flourish and it's going to flourish forever. All right, so let's keep on going. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 5. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter and that's right man who does that man who does that right now who's in rulership the so-called cave gorilla aka the edomites aka the so-called white man okay he flip-flop everything man he has a perpetual hatred for the children of israel and for yahweh by shim yahweh shai man so he, he's completely just like i said man you got you got jim crow joe and uh and uh what's her name uh chlamydia harris <laughs> yeah, I said it. Chlamydia Harris, because she's a damn disease, just like, just like Jim Crow Joe. He looks like he's about to have a heart attack. But you got both of these demons, uh, uh, so-called swearing on the, on the scriptures, that they're gonna go by the scriptures, because that's all you're doing, man. When you put your hand in the Bible, man, you're gonna, you basically saying you're gonna go off the words of the scriptures, man. You're gonna uh, 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 speak off and go off of these scriptures, man. But the first thing he did was literally put these alphabet people. And power, man, gave them more, more, uh, 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 more strength. Okay, he gave the alphabet people, okay, them transformers, more than meets the eye. <laughs> yeah, them. He gave them more strength. He uplifted them more, man. Okay, point blank, period, man. So that it falls back into this: woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, man. Okay, it falls back into that, man. Man, I, can, I probably could walk up to Jim Crow Joe right now and say, hey, look, Jim Crow, man, I want to I want to marry this this, uh, this box of tampons. Go ahead, do whatever the hell you want. Go ahead and marry that box of uh, tampons. Go ahead. I want to marry this box of tampons, Jim Crow. Go ahead. Do whatever you want, buddy. Fucking A, man. These devils, man, these people are not fit to rule, man. These people are not fit to rule, man. Point blank period, man. Point blank period, man. All right, let's keep on going, Israel. Let's jump to, uh, let's jump to Amos chapter five. Let's jump to Amos chapter five, and let's read verses 14 to 15. And it reads this, Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the power of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate it may be that the <clears throat> it may be that yahweh power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of joseph man and also unto the remnant of of the whole house of israel man okay and that's what the the, the true sincere hopeful elect do man Okay, we out here uh, speaking the righteousness in a, amongst a whole bunch of wickedness, man. We are literally out here uh, uh, going against the wicked, man, with, with the words of Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, standing boldly, man, as a lion, man. Standing boldly as a lion, man. Point blank, period, man. We are literally going against the wicked, man. Look at them, Moab, looking over here. Probably about four, four, four even. All right, because we, we, uh, we seeking the good, man. And so what does that mean, man? Let's go to Psalms real quick. Let's let this Bible talk. What does that mean? What does that mean for that remnant that's coming back to your how about shit y'all shot? Let's go to Psalms 97 real quick. Let's go to Psalms 97 real quick. All right, this is Psalms 97 verse 10, and it reads this. Ye that love Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. That's right, man. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai has a hedge over us, man. Okay? We don't have to worry about nothing, man. 
And it also says in the scriptures, man, don't fear man. Don't fear what man can do to you. Roughly paraphrasing, man. In Matthews and in Mark and in Luke, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's said three times, don't fear man what man can do to you. Because man can only kill the body. Fear him in hell, which can kill the body and soul in hell. Roughly paraphrasing Salaki. I know I butchered it, but you know what I'm talking about. So we have to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And why is that? Because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is in control of everything, Israel. Okay? This cave monkey can't even, this cave monkey can't even come outside without putting sunblock on. The only time he feel good is in the wintertime, man. And you be seeing him out here in, in damn gym shorts and uh, uh, flip flops and shit in the snow. Yes, <laughs> yes, in the snow with a white beater, some gym shorts and flip flops. Talking about it feels good out here. Yeah, it feels awesome. It feels radical. Yeah, man, these man, look, man, these devils, man, have got to go, man. They have got to go. They have got to go, man. Point blank, period, man. Now, let's jump back to Isaiah chapter 5. All right, let's keep going. Let's get it, man. We ain't done yet, Israel. We just, we just getting started, man. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 5, verse 21, and it reads this. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own mind. Okay, so woe just means destruction, man. So if you're going off your own mind, your own evil imagination, your own heart, you're leading yourself to destruction, man. Okay? And furthermore, the only people that's, that have the, uh, the righteous path and the instructions to life, damn, is the Israelites, man. Okay? It's the Israelites. Point blank, period. This book is our heritage, our culture, our history, our law, statutes, and commandments. Our, 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 our um, dietary law, everything, man. This book is this book is our life support. Okay, this book is our breath of a breath of a boost. I'm excited. This book is a breath of boost to our life, man. This book is everything. This this right here is your mother, your father, your uncle. Your grandpa, your grandmother, this right here is everything, man, that you can think of, it's everything. It's all as an answer for everything in the Bible, man. Including rape, niggas. And as a matter of fact, too, I've been meditating on that, man. I'm gonna do a real quick hit. It's gonna be a real quick hit to let you know that these cave monkeys know that rape is in the Bible, but you niggas can't accept it, man. And why is that? Because y'all are feminine and weak, man. Because y'all are feminine and weak, man. But the damn cave gorilla. These Edomites, these so-called white people, know that that rape is in the Bible, but you don't. You niggas want to go against it, man. And, ba and for real, that's slander, man. Prove it. Prove it. We supposed to be, we supposed to be talking about prophecy, warning Israel, getting Israel ready for the uh, for for Jacob's trouble, getting Israel ready to be um uh, persecuted, man. But you niggas want to bring up old shit, man. And that's slander, man. What what brother out here has done that, man? Where's, where's the evidence, man? Because every everything that everybody gets in trouble for when they go to court and get locked up for is public records. Pull up the evidence, man. If not, shut the fuck up, man. Because a lot of you fucking niggas are going to die, man. A lot of y'all are going to die, man. And we ain't going to shed one ounce, one drop, one piece of a tear, man. Niggas are wicked, man. But let's keep on going, man. Let's keep on going. Let's go to uh, Proverbs 16 and uh, 25. Proverbs chapter 16. Because this is what you Negroes out here doing too, man. It's locked. All right, this is Proverbs 16, verse 25. There, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death, man. Okay, damn, she hell of shit. Okay, so you, you, like I said, you, you're going off your own heart, off your own way. you leading yourself to death, man. That's the end path of it. It's, it's death, man. Okay? Proverbs 16, 25 again. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the, end thereof, but the end thereof are the ways of death, man. Okay? So you Israelites, that go, that's going off your own evil, evil imagination, your own evil heart. You're leading yourself to death, man. Okay? And furthermore, that shows that you hate instructions, man. Okay? What does that show? Let's let the Bible talk. Let's let this Bible talk. That shows this right here. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death, man. 
Okay, so you only you only gonna get your own soul, man. And everybody that hates your about Shim Yahushai, you love death, man. You must get a rush off doing wickedness, man. And they get put to death, man. They get your head blown off, whatever whatever it may be, man. Your how about Shim Yahushai might uh, make you sick and make you uh, might torment you for a while before he put you to death, man. Okay, and that's what he gonna be doing, man. When 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 the, when, he, when he take his profits off the streets and uh, the internet is, the internet is shut down. That's what he's gonna start doing, man. He's gonna start tormenting you, Jakes, man. And it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be. <laughs> let's, let's 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 get it out the Bible, man. This is what's gonna be, man. Y'all gonna be seeking this, but it's gonna flee from y'all. All right. This is uh, Revelation chapter nine, verse six. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. That's right, man. He's gonna be tormenting you so bad. Bring, bring all your fears upon you that you're going to be be seeking to die, but it's going to flee from you, man. Okay? And Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah is going to be in the heavens laughing at you. And, and as a matter of fact, he's going to be laughing through his prophets too, man. Salah. Point blank period, man. But let's keep on going, man. We were talking about your own, your own imagination. Let's get another script, uh, uh, scripture on that. Let's go to uh, Ecclesiasticus. Because you people that go off your own, your own uh, wicked heart, y'all just leading yourselves to death, man. I'm talking about, I, I, I only, I only uh, listen to the red letter. I, I don't like camps. I don't like being in order. Even though there was camps in the Bible, that's camps in the Bible. What do you think, what do you think Yahweh Shai and, and his disciples was? What do you think Peter and, um, Salakia, Paul and, uh, Peter and all them was. What, what do you, Paul, Paul ran the camp. Yeah, I wish I ran the camp. You niggas are through, man. <laughs> hey, yo, Jake, man, you a clown, man. Yo, Jake, man, you a joke, man. You're a joke, man. You are a joke. Talking about we gonna expose GMS. Now nah, you exposing yourself, man. You letting us know that you a joke, man. Okay? And you going against his prophets, man. Yeah, how about you, prophets, man. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. Chapter 3, verse 24. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment, man. So you're going off your own heart and not going off of this. You're not going off of this. You're going off of this wicked, this wicked device. When the instructions is right here. Okay? Hey, we warned you, man. But what does the scripture say? Um, uh, Proverbs 8 and 36. He that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul, and they that hate me love death. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So y'all niggas love death, man. You may not know it, but y'all niggas love death, man. Because a lot of you niggas, like, like the, uh, the beloved elder Manat Zakba said, a lot of you niggas are proud, man, because nothing happened to y'all in, uh, um, in this test run that Yahweh Shah, so like, that Yahweh Shah, Shem Yahweh Shah may go around. But when this next, when this next uh, real thing happened, oh, a lot of you fake prophets, fake teachers, proud niggas, because that's what y'all are, man. Y'all are niggas, man. Y'all are not men of the Lord, man. Y'all are niggas. A lot of y'all will be touched in, man. A lot of y'all will be made examples of then, man. Okay? And then the true, the true, sincere, hopeful elect will be manifested then, man. Point blank period, man. All right, let's keep on moving, man. Let's keep on moving. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 5. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter five, verse thirty-three. This is this is this is what you're supposed to be doing. Man. This is this is how you're supposed to be walking. You're not supposed to be walking in your own vain, evil, wicked imagination, man. Your heart, which is deceitful above all things. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter five, verse thirty-three. Ye shall walk in all the ways which Yahweh. Your power have commanded you. Do you hear that, niggas? Do you hear that, my nigga? Let me read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 33. Ye shall walk in all the ways which Yahweh, your power, have commanded you, that ye may live, and that it may be well with you, and that ye may prolong your days in the land which ye shall possess. Ye shall walk in all the ways which Yahweh, your power, have commanded you 
that ye may live and that it may be well with you and that ye may prolong your days in the land ye shall possess, man. So Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah gave us the correct way to walk, the correct way to think, the correct way to go about life, man. Okay? Us forsaking, casting uh, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah's words behind our back is only leading you to death, man. Okay? And like I said, man, a lot of you niggas are going to get put to death, man. Okay? And we ain't going to cry. We, look, man, we ain't going to shed one tear, man. We ain't going to shed one tear, man. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 9. I ain't gonna shed one tear for you wicked niggas, man. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 9, verse 17, and it reads this. Therefore, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall have no joy in their young men. Neither shall have no... Shlakia, I'm excited. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 17. Therefore, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall have no joy in their young men. Neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows, for every one is an hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh foully. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is still stretched out. But his hand is stretched out still, man. Let's read that again, because that's powerful, man. Isaiah 9, verse 17. Therefore, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. For everyone is an hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh folly. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still, man. And how do you know Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's hand is still stretched out? Because his prophets are still out here teaching, man. His prophets are still out here warning you, man. His prophets are still able to put up lessons on the, on the, uh, the internet, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. But once, but once all that's taken away, once that's taken away, man, once, once the internet is shut down, the prophets are being persecuted, the, 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 we can't go on the highways and the byways to, to teach, you know, once all that's taken away and we and we and uh this cave monkey, this this uh this silver back gorilla start coming for the um for the men of the Lord, it's over, man. It's nothing but judgment, man. Once once uh <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Let's get it, man. Let's let the Bible talk, man. Once this happens, it's a wrap, man. Let's get it. Once this happens, it's a wrap, man. Let's jump to Ezekiel first. Let's go to Ezekiel first and then we'll get the uh the Mike Tyson uppercut. Salaki, hold on one second. And make sure I got the ones that I want. Because I want to go, go straight to them. All right, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 26, and it reads this, And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, and thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Man, and that's right, man. Man, the Israelites, man, is the most hard-headed uh, uh, nigglets and niggats you ever seen, man. Hard-headed as shit, man. Don't want to listen, want to rebel against everything, don't like order, don't like following the rules, man. Okay? And that's, that's the reason why a lot of you jakes get put to death, man. Because y'all don't like following rules, man. Okay? Uh, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 26. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients. And that's right, man. Okay, so you won't be you, you're gonna be seeking a visions and words from the prophets, but you're not gonna be able to find us, man. Okay? You're not gonna be able to find us, man. And why is that? Let's go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and get it. Let's go to Amos. Amos chapter 8, starting off at verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh. Hmm, Salakia. Baba Kushar Salakia. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. 
Behold, the days cometh, saith Yahweh power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of the hearing of the words of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from <clears throat> and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and shall not find it. Okay? So when, 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 that, when that happens, man, you're going to be, man, where, where, them, where them dudes that was on the corner with them dresses on? Where them dudes that were screaming and, 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 and giving everybody their judgment? You're going to, man, you're going to be looking for us, man, but you ain't going to find us. And if you do happen to find us, and if we're able to say anything to you, we're going to say this. Let's go to Jeremiah. If you do be able to find us, this is what we're going to say to you if you, if you do come across us when this happens. If we're able to, if we're able to talk, we're going to say this: Jeremiah chapter fifteen, slot. Jeremiah chapter fifteen, verse two, and it reads this: And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt say to them, Thus saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, such as are for death to death. And such, are, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for, for Zalakia, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity, man. And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour, to devour and destroy, man. That's all we're going to be able to say to you, man. We ain't going to be able to tell you what to do, man. <laughs> Point blank, period, man. Point blank, period, man. All right, so let's jump back. Let's jump back to the, to the scriptures. Let's go to Luke. Luke chapter 21. Woo! Luke chapter 21, because you don't want to be caught in this predicament either, man. Luke chapter 21. Verses uh, 22 to 23, I want to say. Let me see. Yep, Luke chapter 21, verses 22 to 23, and it reads this. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck. In those days, for there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people, man. So man, right now, it's not the time to have kids, Salaki. Right now, it's not the time to be having kids, man, because all hell is about to break loose. And you might, you know, cannibalism is gonna be back. You might be out here trying to eat your kids, et cetera, doing all types of, you know, wickedness, man, to survive, man, you know? So in the midst of that, man, because your, your, your baby depends on you, man. Whether you got a, a six-month, a newborn, a one-year-old, whatever the case may be, your baby depends on you, man. And it's going to be a time like never seen before, man. It's going to be so much judgment upon the earth because it, it's nothing but wickedness, man. Wickedness is, uh, you know what? We're going to let the Bible speak. We're going to let the Bible speak. Let me put this, put this glove on to get my hand warm. We're going to we let the Bible speak, man. Let's go to John real quick. Salaki is real. Let's 
Let's let's let's jump to second address. Let's jump to second address real quick. I don't feel like uh, searching for it. I can't remember exactly which uh, scripture it is. All right, this is Second Edges, chapter fifteen. Second Edges, chapter fifteen, verse six: For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. And that's right, man. So there's nothing but wickedness on the earth, man. Nothing but wickedness, man. Let's block you. One sec, this ain't gonna work this way, man. It's locked. Bear with me, man. Give me one second. Yeah, so wickedness, man, is, is uh polluting the whole earth, man. So Yahweh by Shim Shai is rough right now, man. Cause it's nothing but wicked. It's, it's the, the only the only righteousness right now that is uh attempting to happen is the um the render that's coming back to Yahweh by Shim Shai. That's the only righteousness about the earth right now, man. The only righteousness, man. Point blank period, man. Like I'm just trying, trying to adjust my gloves, man. All right, there we go. Woo! All right, let's keep on going. Let's get it. We ain't done yet. We still, we still got more. Yes, there's more. Let's go to Isaiah 13. A lot. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 13, verses 11 to 16. Isaiah chapter 13, verses 11 to 16, and it reads this And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the pride to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Okay, and that's right, man. That's how about Shimmy Howard Shot? Man, look, man, he, his works are wonderful, man. Everything that he's doing, man, is, is, is manifesting, man. Okay? Right now, he's just, uh, he's just, he's just slightly doing it, man. But once he turned up to a max, once he turned up to the max, man, all hell's gonna break loose, man. All hell, man. All right, verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man, <clears throat> even a man, then the golden wedge of Ophir. And that's right, man. Who, what type of man is he talking about? An Israelite man. Okay, so in, in that day, you know, uh, you know, I don't want Ratiza, myself and you brothers included, you know, we we uh, we, we get back to our, our, our rightful glory as men, man. Okay, even though we're taking it right now, even though we're standing as men right now, but in that day, our women, our nation is gonna realize that their place, man. Okay? And they'll they'll be able to see it, man. It's gonna be like um it's gonna be like uh, what is it? Uh, that movie, The Dragon, Mr. Show Nuff. When uh, uh, what was that dude's name? I forgot the dude's name. And when he started glowing and shit, and the girl was looking at him like, wow, that's how they're gonna be looking at us, Israel. The women are gonna be looking at us with uh, astonished, man. That is just as soon as they look at us, they're just gonna fall in love with us, man. All right, verse 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place. In the wrath of Yahweh of hosts, and in the day of his furnace, so like in the day of his fires, so like in the, I'm excited. <laughs> in the day of his fierce anger, let's read it again, verse 13. Therefore will I, therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place. In the wrath of Yahweh of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger, and it shall be as the chaff robe, and it shall be as the chaff robe. And as the sheep that no man taketh up, they shall, they sh they shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land. And you know what? You see that you see that happening right now too, man. You see certain people that's leaving the Americas going back into their own land because they know and they see that something's about to go down, man. Okay? They know that and they see it, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. But that's still not gonna stop you from the from the end game. Because after every, everything is done and said, after this place is destroyed, we're coming for all y'all, man. All of y'all going to be uh, put under our foot, man. All of y'all going to be a uh, subject to us, man. Everybody's going into captivity, man. 
thus saith the scriptures, man. Not me saying it, thus saying it of the scriptures, man. Everybody is going to serve tribute to us, man. Everybody's going to be worshiping us, following our laws, worshiping our power, man. Okay, y'all going to build our kingdom up. Y'all might not be happy doing it, but after that thousand years, it's going to be righteousness, and y'all going to y'all going to see how the righteousness is going to flourish, and y'all going to enjoy it, man. Under us, under the Israelites. All right, verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined onto them shall fall by the sword. So what does that mean? That means that all you, all you simple two-third wicked Israel niggas and you nigger women that want to join hand in hand with this cave gorilla, oh, they not all bad. My, 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 grandma, my grandma is so-called white, this and that and blah, blah, blah. Hey, look, man. I don't care, man. We got judged as a nation. They going to get judged as a nation. Point blank, period, man. And we're gonna we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a couple more precepts on that too. But let's let's keep on going. Verse sixteen: Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished, man. And that goes that goes to you Israelite woman too, man. Y'all gonna be ravished, man. Every nation, all these nations, all they women are gonna be ravished, man. Especially in the Americas, man. Point blank, period. If, you, if you're still here when all that when all this is going down. Regardless if you're an uh, uh, Elamite, which is an East Indian, an uh, Ishmaelite, which is a so-called Arab, whatever, your wives are going to be ravaged too, man. Everybody's going to get this work. The Hawabah Hashim is going to give everybody this work, man. Okay? And why is that? Because the earth is proud, man. The earth is wicked. It's polluted in wickedness, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. But y'all want to hold hand in hand with this cave monkey? Let's, let's get another precept on that. You want to hold hand in hand with this cave gorilla? It's locked. Let's get a precept on that. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, shall not be unpunished but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered and that's right man and what is uh jim crow joe get my hands warm for a second what is jim crow joe out here promote unity we we, we we must come together we must all work together we must be unified that's what he's promoting right now so if you want to join hand in hand with jim crow i ain't with jim crow joe i ain't playing with you niggas biting and there's abominable cabinet and these uh these heathens and these two-third wicked Israel niggas, okay, then you're going to be put down well, when Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh sends that wrath, man, okay, because Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh is only saving the remnant, the righteous, the predestined lot, man, okay, the wicked is, is the so-called uh, Edomites, man, that's that's the wicked, you know, but there's also wicked two-third uh, Israelites, man, but that, in, in that, uh, in that passage, uh, uh, Proverbs 11:21 is talking about the wicked, which is Esau, Edom, aka the so-called white man. Okay, though that's that's what he's talking about. So if you want to unify like Jim Crow Joe is doing right now, if you want to unify, then you're gonna die with these cave monkeys, man. Point blank, period, man. Salak, Baba Gushaw, Salak. Point blank, period, man. And that's what it is, Israel. Okay. That's what it is, man. That's exactly what it is, man. And that's what's going to happen. Okay? So either you take heed, take the warning that the prophets has given you, because Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai is speaking through his prophets, man. So either you're going to take this warning and follow these instructions and be obedient to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, or hey, just get destroyed, man. Either way, we don't care, man. Our job is done. All right, so let's keep on going. I had to get my hands warm. <clears throat> Let's jump to Isaiah 14. Let's, let's expound on that some more. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21 to 22. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land. That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities for i will rape so 
Isaiah 14, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 22. For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Because you'll always have these cave gorillas, these cave monkeys, these red, thin lipped beasts always come up to you and say, oh, it wasn't me, it was my forefathers. I didn't do it. I didn't own slaves. I didn't do it. I didn't own slaves. It wasn't me. Why are you mad at me? Let's see what the scripture says. Let's let this Bible talk. Okay? Let's let this Bible talk. Let's see what the scripture says. Let's go to Exodus. Let's get an uppercut. Let's get a Mike Tyson uppercut. All right, this is a uh, this is Exodus. This is Exodus chapter 34 verse 17. Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. And that will by no means, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon, upon the children. Woo! And that, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation i'm gonna let you see this i'm gonna let you see that israel so y'all can read that for yourself okay so he's not gonna forget you man look man let's read that keeping mercy for thousands forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin and that will by no means clear the guilty Visiting the iniquity, like visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children, and it's like it, up onto the third and, and to the fourth generation, man. There you have it, man. There you have it, man. And you can't get you can't get away from this, Esau. You cannot get away from this. Okay, so let's jump. Like I said, y'all wanna hold, y'all wanna hold hand in hand with this cave monkey, man. Y'all, y'all act like he's um he's clear of everything that he's done, man. All the bloodshed, the rape, rob, murder, the, the butt breaking, uh, taking our, our babies, dashing them against the ground, feeding them the alligators, feeding the dogs, raping our women, raping our kids, and, and so much more, man. Uh 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 uh, uh cast uh you know castrizing us, chopping off our rods. You know, all, all the things that this man's done, and y'all want to act like he's 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 justified just by him saying, I'm sorry, and that's it. That is it. Let's see what the Bible says about your enemy, man. Let's go to uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 12. Let's see what it says about this cave gorilla. Let's see what it says about this cave gorilla. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, starting off at verse 10. Ending at verse 17. You're going to read the whole thing. Never trust thine enemy. What? Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Man, this devil, he's, he's still the devil. He wake up like, oh man, who am I going to fuck up today? What type of wickedness can I do today? Verse 11. Though he humble himself. And what is Jim Crow Joe doing? He humbling himself amongst you tribes. He, he's speaking sweet things to you. He making it seem like he's, he cared for you. He's signing cert, uh, certain executive orders that's making it seem like it's for your benefit when actually it's towards your destruction. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not, but it's like it set him not by thee, least when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, 
lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? <laughs> Let's read that again. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? I, we ain't going to pity you. We ain't going to have no, no love for you, no remorse, man. You get what you deserve, man. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or, or any such as come nigh I'm excited or any such as come nigh wild beasts so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins who will pity so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins who will pity for a while he will abide with thee but if thou begin to fall he will not tarry Salakia Verse 16, an enemy, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to, how to throw thee into a pit. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to, how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, and though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Okay, so it said the Bible says never trust your enemy, man. Okay, point blank period, man. But you know what? People gonna do what they wanna do, man. They wanna go, they wanna uh, do things the hard way. And what is that saying? Um, a hard head make a soft ass. A hard head make a soft ass, man. And it's a lot of hard heads. And it's going to be a lot of soft asses out here that's going to be getting judgment, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. But let's keep on going, Israel. Let's keep on going. We still, we still got more meat. Let's jump to Isaiah chapter 19. Isaiah chapter 19. Starting off at verse 1, ending at 4. The burden of Egypt. Behold, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight one against his one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. And what do you see happening right now, man? You, you, see, you see people go, you, you see it uh the uh, People going against people, man. Kingdom against kingdom. City against kitty. It's, it's like it's, okay, city against kitty. City against city. Nation against nation, man. Okay, it's, it's, it's division right now. Everybody's against everybody, man. Okay? Everybody's literally against everybody, man. Okay? And, and he, <laughs> let's just keep on reading. Verse 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and, and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord. And a fierce king shall rule over them, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh of hosts, man. Okay, who, who was that cruel king? Jim Crow Joe. Okay, as, as soon as he went to office, as soon as he came to office, he signed 15 executive orders. Okay. He put the alphabet people up. He gave them more strength, man. Okay, this man been signing executive orders left and right, man. I think he, I think he signed them in his sleep. I think when he go to sleep, he signed them. You know. And all that, man. This, this place, the, the the mirth in this place is gone, man. Okay, the mirth is gone. The happiness, the voice of the bridegroom. Okay, it's, it's gone, man. Point blank, period, man. It's, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to go back to normal, as they say. This is the new normal, man, and it's only going to get worse, man. It's going to get worse, man. Point blank, period, man. Nothing's going to get better. It's going to get worse. All right, let's go to Luke chapter 21. All right, this is Luke chapter 21, verse 28. 
And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth not. And when these things begin to come become slacky, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth not. And that's right, man. So as you see, man, you see, you see a uh, 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 brother, a uh, brother against brother, nation against nation, city against city, man. You see all this stuff happening, man. All this division, okay? Because this, this is what the elites want. And furthermore, this is what Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai wants. He's he's basically uh, breaking this man's kingdom down from within, okay? Because at, at a certain point they would all agree. At a certain point they would you know they would work together to make everything prosper in their hands. But the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is making this man's kingdom fall within. Okay, that division. Okay, you're gonna have uh, civil wars. You're gonna have uh, race riots and uh, uh, you know all types of stuff, man. It's gonna be a famine of food. Okay, and, and, and at a certain point right now, you know the, this um, this love potion this love potion number 19 is gonna be a uh, 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 mandatory. And if you don't get it, you won't be able to live in society. And what is that gonna lead to? That's gonna lead to the mark of the beast. What's the mark of the beast? The RFID microchip. Okay, you won't be able to function in this man's society without it, without it, man. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's go back to uh, Isaiah chapter 19. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 19, and we're going to read verses... Uh, 14 to 15, Isaiah chapter 19, verses 14 to 15. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to error in every work thereof, in every work thereof, as a drunken man strangleth in his vomit. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to error in every work thereof, as a drunken man strangleth in his vomit. Neither shall they, <clears throat> neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rutch may do. That's right, man. Everything's everything is going to be almost a, everything is about to be at a failing state, man. Soon there's going to be no work. Okay, you, you you already had um a lot of women um. I forgot, it was, it's in the thousands, but a lot of women that's out of work, man. Okay, it's getting worse, man. It's getting worse, and you already have people going to food banks and getting food because they lost their job, and they're uh, 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 putting their trust in Egypt, man. Okay? When when uh, when uh, Babylon, a.k.a. Egypt, a.k.a. Sodom and Gomorrah, Rome, etc., is the one doing this to you. And furthermore, it's actually Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Well, let's jump back to Luke again, because this is what's happening too, man. It's a lot. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist, man. Okay? So everything that we see, and why, and why is that? How come they can't gainsay or resist it? Because we speak the words of our father, our Banawa, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's why, man. Because he, he increased the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding within us, man. He gave us the understanding of his will, man. To go out here and prophesy against his queendom, Babylon the Great, and to warn and to edify the hopeful elect, man. Okay, we don't give a damn about the two thirds. And for you, for you simple, for you simpletons, to be out here, oh man, we we come out here to wake up all Israel, man. We come out here to wake up all Israel. Good luck. Good luck, cause if we if we had to wake up all Israel, we'd be destroyed, man. We'd be destroyed, man. Cause you you know as soon as as soon as you you got that one last Israelite that you gotta wake up. You wake them up, and then you have one that, that that's that's not certain about something, and that that basically confuses everybody else, and then we back at um, back at ground zero again, man. And why is that?
because Israel is stiff-necked, hard-headed, and a gang-saying people, man. And their um damn attention span is is, is short, man. Jake's a, a, attention span is very short, man. Okay, they'd rather be entertained than, than to have the truth. They'd rather be entertained than to have the truth. All right, so let's get it. Let's keep on going. I gotta get my hands warm real quick. Let's go to Isaiah 48. It's like I said, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh gave us that wisdom and that knowledge, man, that, 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 that they can't gain, say, or resist, man. So this is Isaiah chapter 48. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17. Thus saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, thy, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am Yahweh, thy power, which teacheth, which teacheth thee to profit. I am Yahweh, thy power, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go, man. Okay, so everything is done, man. Look, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai controls man's footsteps. Proverbs uh, uh, 20 and 24, Jeremiah 23 and uh, 23 and 29, I want to say. Let's see, hold on, let me, let me see. I don't want to butcher it. I think it's Jeremiah 23 and 29. Might be 29 and 23, Salaki. Uh, Salaki, Israel. Because I don't want to be getting out quoting wrong, wrong scriptures. Jeremiah 10 and 23. Jeremiah 10 and 23 and um, Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. How can a man then understand his own way? Isaiah 48 and 17. Thus saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am Yahweh, thy power, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. Okay? So it's, it's all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that teaches us, man, that leads us, man. There's no such thing as free will, Israel. There's no such thing as free will, free will whatsoever, man. Okay, when you go to sleep, he's, he's, uh, he's implanting uh, your, your, your instructions for the next day, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is literally implanting your instructions for the next day. Salakia. He's literally implanting your instructions for the next day. Okay? All right, so let's keep on going. Cause I, and how and how is he doing that? Cause he he's he's sending he's sending he's let's let's let's, let's, let's woo, I'm excited. Let's let the Bible talk. Let's let this Bible talk, man. Let's go to John chapter 14. We got two precepts in John chapter 14. I'm gonna read. This is this is how he's doing it. This is how he's uh, edifying us, man. This is how he's edifying us. This is how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is edifying us. All right, this is John chapter 14. I'm going to read verse 17, then I'm going to drop down to verse 26. John chapter 14, verse 17, and then 26. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Who is that spirit? Let's just go to verse 26. I'm going to explain it. John 14, verse 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, which the Father will send in my name, 
He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. There you have it, man. That's how that's how we that's how Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah is doing it, man. Through through the Spirit, man. Through the Holy Spirit, the comforter, man. Not not comfy, not that nigga that he put to death that was out here embe embezzling money, man. You know? And furthermore, what and <laughs> Let's let's let a script, man. Let's let's go to Matthew chapter 15 real quick, man. Cause this is what you niggas do, man. You niggas are wicked, man. You niggas are wicked, man. Just like that dude talking about Nate who? Nate who? Put some respect on Nate's name, but not but not on your howl by Shim your howl shot. This is what y'all do, man. This is Matthew chapter 15. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Verse 9. But in vain. But in vain, they do worship me, teaching for doctrines. But in vain, they do worship me, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Y'all not teaching Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Y'all teaching the commandments of men. Y'all teaching what y'all like to hear, what y'all like to, uh, what y'all like to regurgitate, what y'all believe is correct, which is false, man. And what is that? Your own, your own, uh, uh, vain. And, vain and evil heart man that's leading you to death okay point blank period man point blank period man but let's keep on going it's cold as a motherfucker out this bitch let's keep on going Israel let's go to um, Isaiah 26 Isaiah 26 verses 8 to 9 Yea, in the way of the, yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, have we waited for thee? The desire of our soul is to thy name, and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul I have desired thee in the night. Yea, with my soul within within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world shall learn righteousness. Let's read this again, man. I don't think y'all heard this, man. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have we waited for thee. The desire of our souls is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the, inha the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness, man. Okay? And that's and this this is only this is talking about the hope of the let, man. This is talking about that remnant that's coming back, man. Those are the only ones doing this. Okay, not you wicked niggas. The only ones that's doing it is the remnant, man. Point blank period, man. Let's keep on going, man. Let's jump down to verse 21. Isaiah chapter 26, dropping out of verse 21. And you ones that's not seeking that, let's read it. For behold, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. For behold, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain, man. So for you ones that's not seeking Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and that's uh, it's not, and it's not part of that remnant, judgment, man, pure judgment, point blank period, man. Let's go to Second Peter. Second Peter chapter three, verse seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Woo! Let's read that again. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Judgment, judgment, judgment. Judgment. 
that's that's why that's why the, the so-called earth is uh, overpopulated as they say because everybody's back here for judgment man point blank period man everybody's back here for judgment man everybody's about to get judged man for everything that they've done man and you know I don't want to write this off you know myself and you brothers and you few sisters that do watch and do learn and that's obedient to your Shim Yahweh we be in that predestined lot man to be saved man before the creation of the foundation of the world man you know it's a lot but let's keep on going let's keep on going let's go to Job let's let the Bible talk Job chapter 21 verse 30 that the wicked is, is reserved to the day of destruction that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction they shall be brought forth to the day of wrath man oh man you ain't you ain't got away Esau you ain't got away and y'all ain't gonna be able to do y'all y'all not gonna be able to to, to, to kill the prophets how y'all did in the old days man yeah a few brothers are gonna be martyrs you know who, who whoever's lot that is you know Lord willing <laughs> I, I, I ain't a part of uh, the marvelous lot, but if it is, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, give me that power to endure that, man. But I hope and I pray that I, I'll be preserved and be able to, you know, beamed up into the chariot, man. Okay, and even if you are a martyr, man, you're going to be beamed up first, man. You know? Let's read that again. Job chapter 21, verse 30. That the wicked is preserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath, man. So you think you think that you got away with everything that you did. You think that the Most High is with you. You think that the Most High doesn't care what you do. Okay. Let's jump back to Isaiah. Chapter 30. Isaiah chapter 30. We're going to read Isaiah chapter 30, uh, verses 1 to 3. To you wicked Israelites. Woe to the rebellious children. Say if Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that take of counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. So y'all y'all want to go down to uh to Jim Crow Joe to ask him for help to make it seem like he's gonna help you to to to, to beg and plead with him be nice to us Joe to to, to uh, why uh, what is that um Jeremiah chapter three I want to uh, Jeremiah chapter three verse seventeen or well, in Jeremiah somewhere where it says why why seekest thou way to uh why trimmest thou way to seek love man. Y'all seeking to be loved and be validated by, by this cave monkey, man. And y'all putting y'all uh, 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 trust and hope and oppression, man. This man is your oppressor. He's your, 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 uh, uh, your uh, the punishment, the punishing stick for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is cold, man. Salaki. Okay? He can't, he can't be your savior and your oppressor, man. He was only set up to be your oppressor, man. Okay, but the ones, but the ones that put their trust, the ones that put their trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, this is for you. Second address. All right, this is Second Address, chapter eight. <clears throat> Second address chapter 8, starting off at verse 55, ending at uh, let's see where I want to start. Well, I gotta jot it down where I want to end that slot here as well. Second address chapter 8, starting off at verse 55, ending at 61. And therefore ask thou not, Shlaki, and therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish, 
for when they had liberty, so like it, for when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. Moreover, they had trodden down his righteous and said in their heart that there is no God. Yea, that there, yea, that knowing that, so like it, yea, that knowing they must die. And said in their heart that there is no God. Yea, and that knowing they must die. For as the things are foresaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should come to naught, but they which but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made him. But they which be created have defiled the name of him that made him. And wherefore, so like it, and where unthankful unto him was prepared life for them. Man, oh man, y'all ain't hear that, man. Let's read that again. Verse 60. But they which but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made him, and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. And therefore is my judgment at hand. That's a lucky. This that's for the um two-thirds. I said the uh, the righteous. That's what the two thirds, man. Salakia. Correction. That's what the two thirds. All right. And that you know, and it, and it, it also gets deeper, man. It's, it's it's various reasons why, man. But let's let's keep on going, man. It's various reasons why. Let's go back to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter thirty. It's various reasons why. And they, this and this is another one too. This is another reason why too. Isaiah chapter thirty, starting off at verse nine. Damn, man. Devil, man, the devil's working hard, man. Isaiah chapter 9, it's like Isaiah chapter 30, starting off at verse 9, ending at 13. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which say to the seers, See not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, get you out the get you out the way, turn aside out out of the path cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant that's right man so you you really think your how about Shem Shai gonna keep on let you uh, blaspheme and, and go and, and being disobedient and, and going against his name? Man, let's read, man. Let's 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 jump back. Let's let's because that's powerful what I just read, man. I don't think y'all heard that, man. Let's jump back to that. Let's go back to Second Edges chapter 8, man. Let's read that again, man. Let's read that again. That's how powerful that is. Second Edges chapter 8, starting off at verse 55. And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous, and said in their heart that there is no God. Yea, and that knowing they must die, for as the, so like you, for as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them, for it was not his will that men should come to not, but they which be created have defiled the name. But they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. And therefore is my judgment now at hand, man. We, we, can, we can just go off of that. That can be it. That can, that's that's completely thoroughly justifying you. How about Shimmy? How was shot? Putting you niggas to death, man. Completely, man. Completely, man. Real talk, man. Completely. But you niggas, man, y'all wicked, man. Y'all so damn wicked, man. That shit is getting on my nerves, man. Real talk. That shit is getting on my nerves, man. Let's keep on going, man. Let's keep on going, man. It's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of, a lot of bodies in Babylon, the great underground, man. A lot of bodies. And let's see what Moses said. Let's go back to what Moses said that we was gonna go off. Cause Moses, Moses knew, man. 
Moses knew because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh told him, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh told Moses, man. It's a lot. All right, this is Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 29, straight to the point. For I know that after my death, ye will utterly, for I know after my death, ye will utterly corrupt yourselves and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you, and evil, and evil will befall, will befall you in the latter days, because ye will do evil in the sight of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, to provoke him to anger through the works of your hands. Let's read that again. For I know that after my death, ye will utterly corrupt yourselves and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. And evil will befall you in the latter days, right now, because ye will do evil in the sight of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. So like I just said, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is thoroughly, thoroughly justified in putting you Israelites to death, man. Okay? So let's jump to Isaiah chapter 46. Let's jump to Isaiah chapter 46. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Because <laughs> he already knew it, man. Y'all about Shem Yahweh Shah knows, man. And this is why. Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do my pleasure, man. So Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, know, know who's going to go off, know who's going to be righteous, know who's going to be wicked amongst his people, man. He declared it from the beginning. He declared the end from the beginning. Declaring the end from the beginning. He knows, man. So he just sitting back watching like, yeah, watch, this is about to happen. Boom, I told you. Why? Because why? I made it happen. Because I, I declared it from the, from the beginning. <laughs> Man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is marvelous, man. Marvelous. All right, let's keep on going. Let's go to 2 Peter. 2 Peter chapter 2. All right, this is 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished, man. Look. Salak, forgive. If the Lord, it says, matter of fact, you know what? Let's, let's jump the Lamentations real quick. And then, and then I'll speak on it. I think it's uh Yeah, Lamentations 4 verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger, for these pine away stricken through the, stricken through for want of the fur feet slocky. I'm excited. Let's read again. Lamentations 4 verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field, man. So I, I brought that up to say this, man. It's better for you to get slain by the, sto the sword than, than to, uh, to, to, to die by famine. And furthermore, <laughs> and furthermore, the, the worst thing is for you, to be, for you to be preserved. For you to be preserved for the missiles. Yeah, I, I, really, I truly think, but you know, I'm just speaking as a man. You know, which I could be wrong, but I think in my own vain heart, which could be wrong, it could be wrong, that he might, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai might be preserving you, you real powerful uh, Israel niggas and nigger womans for the missiles, man. You know? Because that's, man, that's that's hard, man. Because when them missiles hit, man, when them missiles hit, man, he might, he might just, he might, he might keep your spirit in your body 
until all your flesh, all your organs, everything is just gone, man, and then take your spirit. He, it, 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 might, it might be five to ten minutes until it happens. You might, you might just be laying there already unconscious and your spirit might be in there still just for you to feel that pain. He's like, all right, all right, I'm satisfied. Bring the spirit back to me. He's going to torment you, man. Yahweh Bashi Mouth is going to torment the two-thirds, man. There ain't going to be no quick death. It's not going to be a quick death, okay? It's not. All right. Let's go to, because, um, you know, this, this is also what y'all think too, man. Y'all think just because all this wickedness that y'all have done, that y'all got away with, man. But let's read this. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 8, starting off at verse 11, ending at 13, and it reads this. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it, that it shall be well with him that fear the Most High, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And that goes for the, the wicked two-third Israelites. And you wicked, man. Because the, the ones that, really, that, that truly think that they're getting away with everything they've done is the wicked, which is the Edomites, man. The so-called white man. You fucking cave monkeys, man. You devils. You red, thin-lipped cave gorillas, man. You beasts. Walking on all fours, howling at the moon. <laughs> Did y'all forget that? Did y'all forget y'all used to walk on all fours, howling at the moon, eating your babies? Y'all used the dog to guard the house, to guard y'all rock houses, to make sure that your neighbor wouldn't come in and snatch your baby up and eat your baby, man. Oh yeah, we know about you. We know about you, you cave monkeys. We know about you. you trust and believe. We know we know more about you than you than you think. All right, cause y'all 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 truly forget this, man. This is something y'all forgot too, man. This is Isaiah chapter fifty-five, verse eleven. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth; it shall not return unto me void. So shall my word that goeth forth out of my mouth; it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper. In that thing where to I send it, man. So whatever Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh says, I'm excited, Salaki. So like whatever Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah said in these scriptures, and this right here, it's gonna prosper, man. You best believe it, homeboy. You best believe it, my nigga. You best believe it, man. Okay, you best believe it. Whatever Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah said in this book, it's gonna prosper, man. So you wanna call him a liar? Let's get the scripture on that. Let's go to Numbers. Numbers chapter 23. Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. The Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Man, look, man. <laughs> there is no unrighteousness, no guile, no deceit. No wickedness in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. He's perfect. He's balanced, man. There's only one that's perfect. That, like Yahweh Shai said, there's only one that's perfect, and that's the Father in heaven. Who, who is that? Al Banawa, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. So for you niggas talking about y'all perfect, man, hey, man, woe be on to you, man. Uh, woe be on to you a, a horrific, a slacky, a grievous, horrific, tormented, woe, man, which means death and destruction, man, to you two-third niggas, man. Oh, I hate you niggas, man. Fuck, I hate you. I, I fucking hate you niggas, man. I hate niggas, man. Oh, it's, they all supposed to be your brother. Hey, look, man, like, like the beloved... You know, Shalom, man, like the beloved elder Manat Zakba said, man, yeah, we, we're brothers through, 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 uh, through blood, but through the spirit, nah, nah. Y'all don't have the same spirit we have. We have the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. You niggas are from beneath, we are from above, man. 
You know, I don't want to rock the Zion. We don't, we those fallen angels, man. 144,000. I don't want to rock the Zion. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baba Gushar, Baba Gushar, Baba Gushar, man. Us, us, uh, the GMS brothers and the like-minded brothers, we be that, we be those fallen angels, man. I don't want to rock the Zion, man. But let's keep on going, man. Let's go to Second Peter chapter three. All right, this is 2 Peter chapter 3, starting off at verse 10. But the day of Yahweh, Bahashin Yahweh Shai, will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away, and a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are, that are therein, shall be burnt up. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversations and godliness, man? Righteous, man. We having a holy, godly conversation right now, man. Through the scriptures, through the words of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, man. A mouth, you, got, you got the mouthpiece speak, speaking right now. Speaking the words of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Verse 12. Looking, we looking, and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat man and we hasten it man we hasten the day of our lord man we hasten the day of our father albanawa yahweh sending our big brother our messiah our king yahweh shai man to destroy this fucking place man this is babylon the great man this is the mother of harlots man Okay, if you got a problem with what I'm saying, which is out the scriptures, take it up with the Father, man. Don't take it up with me. Don't be butt hurt. Don't be emotional. Don't be feminine. Get that estrogen out. Get that estrogen out your body, man, and put that testosterone back. <laughs> get that estrogen out of your body and put that test test testosterone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man. I'm I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited, man. Forgive me, man. Baba Gusha. Test uh, testosterone, testosterone, testosterone back in your body. You know, and this is, uh, you know, this is a, uh, let's go, uh, second address chapter six. Let's go to second address chapter six. And we about to close it down, Israel. Second address chapter six. We about to shut her on down. We about to shut her on down, Israel. Now this is, this is for the righteous. This is for the righteous. Second address, chapter 6, starting off at verse 25. And it reads this, Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world, Esau, and the men that are received shall see it, who have not tasted death from their birth, and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. Let's get another one. Let's go to Malachi real quick. Because this is, this is what we also hope too. Malachi chapter 3, starting off at verse 16. Then they that fear Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, spake often one to another, and Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, hawkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith Yahweh of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. Woo! So let's close it on out, Israel. Let's close it on. It's out. Let's 
Psalms 51, starting off at verse 9. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a new heart, O Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, starting off at verse 10. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, starting off at verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. For Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, will bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So there you have it, man. There you have it. So, so I can. So, I don't want to write this out. This was edifying to the hope of the elect. I pray and I hope that this was edifying, that this uplifts your faith, your belief, your trust, your hope, and most of all, your fear in Al Banawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Man, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. To my true sincere Akiyam, I love y'all. And, and, and Aquaf, I love y'all. Keep fasting, keep praying. And with that, Shalom.